Hello, everyone. Apparently, I am live, so I'm just going to dive right in and tell you that I'm so happy you're here for the live Q&A. And um, if you would like me to see your name when you comment, please give StreamYard, the application that I'm using to simulcast this broadcast um, in Facebook and YouTube. If you don't give StreamYard permission, I can't see your name. So if you want me to see it, give StreamYard permission. If you don't want to give permission uh, and you leave a comment, I really truly won't see who it's from. So you might need to then write your name after it. Like, you know, uh, my question is this, Linda. <laughs> um, or if you want to stay anonymous, that's one way too, except that on the platform you're posting on, other people will be able to see your name. I just can't do it on this broadcast. Okay. Now that we have some of the housekeeping done, welcome, welcome. Um, I hope you've been enjoying the seven day beauty refresh series that I've been delivering you simple, easy, effective ways to improve your beauty routine when you're over 40. And I've been loving the enthusiasm, the comments, the energy, how just these little, I call them little, but I think they're actually quite impactful tips can make such a difference for you. And the enthusiasm when we learn something new that doesn't really take so much effort, but it can make such a big improvement. And that's why I do these events sometimes. And of course, it's because I also want to generate some excitement, help you get to know me and my teaching style, especially if you're new here. Welcome. You might have come through the Lux Botanic skincare community, and then I'm really new to you. But if you've been around for a while, then you know I am filled with heart. I really care about beauty um, in a way that is beyond just making us all look like homogenous Barbie dolls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, good. I'm already getting some hellos. So Nancy is saying testing. This is Nancy. Yes. I don't see your name, but I saw that you wrote your name. So very good. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Frida. Hi, Heather. Wonderful. Oh, Heather. Um, I'm going to talk about you. I hope you're, I hope you're ready. You gave me permission to talk about you and your lovely profile photo. So I'm going to, um, if that's okay, if not, tell me now in the comments, but, um, I, Heather's one of the healthy beauty oasis members. And so I recognize a lot of these names. We're in such a beautiful community. And I'm going to tell you about that in a little bit because it's truly special. Um, and on the theme of why I'm so passionate about beauty and teaching and educating, this isn't something that all makeup artists uh, like to do. They don't, not everybody likes to teach. Not everybody's good at it. I have a natural propensity to it. I've been in the beauty industry over 25 years. I have a background in cosmetics development, marketing, training, um, retail staff development. I was the lead national trainer for the launch of Burberry Cosmetics in Italy. So I understand how to teach pros and I understand how to teach just everyday people because I've been doing it for well over a thousand clients. I added up the numbers the other day um, with private lessons and I worked on some of the, well, the biggest runways in the world with supermodels, you know, of, of people of all ages. And so what I have to share with you is different because not only do I know what it's like to work on the over 40 face? I also am 44 myself, but that's not really it. I've been working on the over 40 face since I was 19 years old. I have an affinity for mature women because let me tell you, I hear this a lot and I'm going to say it too. When you're in your 20s, you don't know jack about the world, right? You're just like, ah, you can do anything. You can stay out late and party and like you go and get two hours of sleep and you're just a fresh little thing afterwards, right? Like it's fine. And then a certain age happens and all of a sudden you get like, I wake up just after a normal night of sleep. I'm like, what the hell happened to my face? <laughs> it's like, am I right? Tell me if you've had this experience in the comments below. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, Facebook user from New York. Um, Jennifer saying, Kristen is awesome in capital letters. You will not regret a moment of membership, Jennifer. You are lovely. Thank you. Um, Facebook and someone is saying on Facebook, I need a serious eye cream. Yeah. Right. Because one of the things that I feel like, uh, and I don't know about you, 
but if you came to the seven day challenge, it was to learn something to make your beauty routine feel better. And I, I have to admit, we have been told that there is going to be like a magic pill that's just going to change it all. Because what I see in the comments with people already asking questions on the different videos that I posted are like, what eyebrow pencil are you using? What washcloth are you using? And those are valid and legitimate questions. But you'll notice if you follow me on social media for any period of time, I almost never talk about product. I almost never focus on what I'm using. I focus on how I'm using it. Because let me tell you, I have been in this situation as a makeup artist before where I needed something that I didn't have on me, you know, and I used to lug just like stupid amounts of makeup with me everywhere. You think you've got a lot of makeup? Mm -mm. <laughs> I had, does anyone remember Daily Candy? Their whole crew came to my New York apartment to film the walk-in closet I had that was head to head to toe or whatever that would be, floor to ceiling, filled with makeup. They did a whole segment on it. <laughs> so um, you, I don't care how much makeup you got sitting in your cabinet, I win <laughs> with the most amount of stuff. So when I talk about creating a beauty routine that is filled only with things that you really need, that really work for you, I mean it. I mean, please, like you don't need to stockpile every cool thing that comes out. What you need is a uniform of go-to items that you know you can rely on. They're your workhorses of beauty every single day. And this is what I aim to teach. I aim to teach you not just like what to use, which I have a highly curated library of the, my favorite products that, by the way, are green, eco-conscious, natural, organic ingredients. Like I am a stickler. If you know me from the green beauty team days, I'm a stickler for ingredients and conscious uh, consumerism. So we got to think about all these things. And that's why the videos were laid out in this particular way. I mean, it really starts with how are you talking to yourself on a daily basis? Are you being nice to yourself? Are you praising yourself and giving yourself beautiful energy? Because I want to say like girl, but none of us here are girls, so, but you know what I mean? Like woman <laughs> or person watching this non-binary human. <laughs> um, no, you can't give beauty out into the world. You can't ask the world to be beautiful. And goodness knows, I would like the world to be more beautiful right now. Like raise your hand. Do you feel that? Do you feel like it would be amazing if the world became just a little more beautiful? We cannot expect beauty to come to us and fill us up if we are giving ourselves only negativity, if we are not giving ourselves beauty. Um, as I said that, I wish you could see outside my window because I'm facing, hmm, is there a way to turn you around? Not really, not easily. Um, an owl, a great horned owl just swooped and like flew over the window. Ugh. You know, owls are, I, I'm into my woo-woo stuff. I'm into my like spirit totem animal thing, not in an appropriation way, but I always like to look up what the meaning of an animal is and just take that for myself and see like, was there something really special I needed to know there? So does anybody know anything about owls? <laughs> they hang out around here a lot. All right, I'm going to check the comments real quick. Um, oh, Susan figured out how to give permission so I can see your name. Hi, Susan. Oh, Susan's a wonderful Oasis member, as is Catherine. I've learned a lot, a whole lot. Um, and you've watched a lot of videos for mature women, and it was all wrong. Kristen gets us. Yeah, thank you. I mean, oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, I see. Hand up for more beauty in the world. Good karma. And Heather paints owls. Oh, Heather, tell us more about the owls. Okay. Well, I want to talk about this like all wrong thing because <laughs> what I teach is the opposite of what you will see on the internet streets. And as more people catch on to who I am and what I'm doing, this happened with Green Beauty Team also, people will begin to grab those techniques and teach them as if they're their own or teach them as if they knew them before, even though they weren't teaching them before, whatever. I just want to tell you that I've been doing this for so long. And the reason that I have the techniques that I do is because of the background that I have from 
working with mature skin since I was 19 years old, cosmetics, product development, and um, high level fashion all over the world. And so the experience of learning from me seems simple. Like I try to make it really fun, but it's actually super high level, tons of years and hours touching faces, making mistakes, cleaning things up, getting the Q-tips out, getting the, you know, and coming up with the ways to disseminate that information to make it easy for you. Okay, so I want to hear in the comments, did, who here watched all seven videos? Or tell me how many videos you watched in the comments of the seven days that were there. Did you also get the companion guide? Um, and did you enter to win the prize? Because I'm going to be announcing the prize here, which is the, oh, can I share my screen? Let me see if I can do that. Uh, picture in picture layout. Share screen. <laughs> I have to say things out loud. That's how it works. Um, share screen. Here we go. Jennifer saying she watched all seven. Cindy saying everything. Fabulous. I'm the most excited about that. Um, I am going to, oh goodness. <laughs> I, you know, look, I am, I run my own show. I just want you to know that. Like I'm a fantastic makeup artist. Um, and I also do really heavy lifting when it comes to the technology. Like this is, I'm the one who sets up the camera. I'm the one who edits everything. I'm the one who posts it online. That's all me. So bear with me a moment while I share my screen because that's what we're doing. Okay. Chrome tab. That's what I wanted to do. Um, so, okay. Oh, I should have been zoomed up. Look at me. So this is the prize that I'm giving away is the Lux Botanics Marula Hydrating Pre-Cleanser. And uh, the packaging is sustainable. The ingredients are sustainable. The marula is hand-picked, wild-crafted in Kenya, ethically, fair trade. Um, their formulation of how they use the ingredients is extremely important. The founder knows chemistry. She gets it. And it's not just about like, are there these ingredients in something and it's got all the buzzwords ingredients. It's will the ingredients in the combination that they're in do the thing that the product promises. That is so important. That is why I really talk about investing in high quality and getting more for your money than buying something, even if it's expensive, that's potentially just filled with a bunch of filler crap that wasn't even thoughtfully formulated. I mean, who saw, all right, I'm gonna stop sharing this for a sec. Who saw that Brad Pitt launched a luxury skincare line? Who saw this? What the, I, I'm trying not to swear on the live stream, <laughs> but what the F man? <laughs> like, what does he know about skincare? Why would anyone buy skincare from him? Why? Tell me. Would you buy skincare from Brad Pitt? And also, it's not cheap. It's like double the price of what I just showed you. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to look at the comments. Susan watched all seven, but she forgot to watch the bonus videos for Oasis members. Yes. So one of the things I didn't talk about was that I always treat my Oasis members very, very extra super well and give them lots and lots of treats and love. And so there was an extra bonus video that nobody else got. Nobody else is going to get that went into the members portal on really caring for styling your hair. And um, it featured my hairstylist, Richard. Uh, and then there was an uncut version of one of the skincare videos where I gave even more tips and more advice because I just couldn't fit it all in. Like my time limit was three minutes on these tip videos. And I was like, well, I filmed a lot more awesome content than that. And it can't go down, you know, the cutting room floor. So I put it in the Oasis membership. So those folks could enjoy it. And Cindy is saying, my biggest question is under eye concealer for 60 and where to put it. I'm seeing where they're saying, don't put it under just in the corners of the eyes. What if you need it under your eyes? Yes. Okay. So let's dig into the Q and a here, um, in a, in a, in a moment. I want to make sure that I do justice to giving the prize away. Um, 
and then we'll do some Q and A. And if you will allow me, I want to tell some some fun stories and show you around the Oasis. Uh, okay, I'm I'm umming a lot because I've got your comments coming in. Tabs over here, and everything just looks serene behind me. I'm like in my own serene moment. Uh, yeah, how's everybody doing, by the way? Heather's saying, I watched the Oasis bonus video before hopping on here. Very good, Heather. Oh, very good. Okay. Well, um, so when you when you were watching these videos, were you looking to get something specific for yourself? Were you looking for like a hot tip? Were, what, what prompted you to take part in this? Why are you here today? I would really love to know that. Do you have questions for me? Um, are you just like, I want to be the winner and that's the only reason I'm here? <laughs> As soon as Kristen announces the winner, I'm out. <laughs> because, you know, I have to say in the last month, um, I was, I have woken up and I'm like, oh, there's a weird pimple here. The heck is that doing there? There's like a bag or a thing or a crease or a crinkle. And it's really hard. Like we're trained to think that we have to immediately eradicate something and that the way to eradicate it is a topical procedure or ointment or moisturizer or serum or something. And 80 to 90% of beauty is from within. The words you're saying to yourself, how you are energetically filling yourself up on a daily basis with positive information, positive food, you know, um, oxygen, sunlight, how are you managing your stress? Because when I'm stressed out, it didn't used to be this way in my 20s, but I can see it on my face now. I can. Can't you? Like when you're stressed and you're just like, I, I'll avoid the mirror entirely because I just don't need to see that things are wonky. I know they're wonky. So when I see the skin doing something, the skin is reflecting the state of the body and your wellness and your well-being. Um, when I see it doing that, the question I now ask myself is, what do I need in order to add restoration to the symptom that is calling for attention? And if you ask that question and you answer it with love, that level of asking will get you a different answer. And so, yes, I can give you like my favorite brow pencil, but what good is it going to do you if you don't know how to use it? I could go into a drugstore right now, buy the absolute cheapest pencil, and I could do incredible makeup with it. Incredible. Because it matters so much how you're using something. You could have the nicest, most expensive Ferrari, Lamborghini like a super high level car, right? If you can't drive it, <laughs> you're going to think it sucks because <laughs> you're laying back in the seats really low and it, it's, a st and they're loud and cause they're like race cars and you're going to be like trying to just click into first and second gear. You're not going to appreciate that car. You're not going to, if you're taking it to go like just in a neighborhood where you got to stop at every stop sign, that car sucks. That's not the car. <laughs> but if you can take it out on the open road and see what it does and have some fun with it, that's where it gets interesting with beauty to me is yes, get your basics down. Yes. Be able to have a car that takes you to the store safely and in a, in a, in an easy way, you can put your stuff in the trunk. That's not a Ferrari. You're not putting anything in the trunk. I don't think anything fits in the front trunk of a Ferrari. <laughs> Will the car take you to the store? Absolutely. Is it the most comfortable ride to the store? Mm, probably not. But you know, you see what I mean? So we have different levels of things that we use for different occasions. And not all of us are getting ready for the red carpet all the time. And so this is why the, the series was really meant to touch on some basic things and give you some extra tools, knowing that there's so much more for you. There's so much more and it doesn't have to be hard. It could actually be really fun because when you figure out what road to drive in and you know how to drive this Ferrari correctly, we can have some fun. But if you can't do basic eyeliner, 
you're stuck in first gear, honey. I can't help you get to fifth gear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let's do that. Okay, gosh, let, let's see in the comments. Um, Cindy is saying the best tip was the eyeliner. And I love all your energy and advice. Thank you so much. Have you tried it? Has it worked for you? Because I've been getting good feedback. I got somebody show up in my DMs who sent me photos of them. And I was so impressed. I was so impressed how well you have done. And one of our members, Catherine, she went straight into the Oasis group and she shared all these pictures of herself with different types of eyeliner techniques that she's learned. And it was amazing to see the dramatic difference of the effect it gave her. And both were correct. You don't, you don't just get to be a one trick pony. Okay. Um, Susan is saying, even though we've covered much of this in the Oasis, there's always things I may have missed. Love being able to catch it again in a compressed format. Fantastic. That's why you joined or the seven day event. Um, when I say seven day event, it almost came out as seventh day Adventist. I don't know. <laughs> um, Heather's saying I had a pr pretty rough time lately. Health issues like, oh, burned out and tired. No, in the photo that I'm going to share of you, you're burned out and tired. When you see this photo I share of Heather, and I needed to remind myself of the little things I can do for myself and like that these videos were short, but I still learned something new. They inspired me to want to dig back into the Oasis portal membership. Yeah. And anonymous Facebook user is saying it was a great set of quick videos to jumpstart refreshing my routine. I really appreciate you putting it together. Thank you so much. I'm so glad. Well, and they're here for you. Like you can always reference back to them. And um, okay. I want to share, since you brought it up, Heather, can I share your photo and your and just like a quick moment of your story? I would love to do that. Um, do -ba -do, -ba do Here we go. Oh my gosh! And I have a. Can I? <laughs> can I show you this hilarious comic? I know I've got so many things open. Hold on. <laughs> uh, can you see that the com the comic? Or are you seeing my entire screen? I think you're seeing the entire screen. I don't know what you're seeing. Hold on. Oh, the comic's not blowing up big. Well, 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 hold on. We'll try it a different way. Okay, let's try this. Share. Um, window. There we go. <laughs> Check out this comic. Ah, the prisoner looks very nice, but that's not what I meant by 20 lashes. <laughs> Oh, some makeup artist humor. You got to love it. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to stop sharing that. And then I'm going to go back to Heather, Miss Beautiful Heather, who just really, it was such a delight to see this photo pop into our group. And uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Because... I didn't know Heather was going to take photos for herself and the energy with which she describes how she's feeling and that she used the technique that I call the face funnel. I just want to say like beauty is about that glowing feeling that we have and we don't celebrate ourselves very often. And so we got to celebrate Heather and would you guess that she was burned out? She just looks like she is glowing yeah from within. She is the sunflower. That is what I see here. So I just really, I just wanted to honor Heather because there's not a lot of spaces where we get to celebrate ourselves and not have people be rude and be like, oh, you think you're so great or all this BS that gets competitive with women in particular in these spaces. It's, you are beautiful and we've got to tell ourselves that more often and find places where we lift each other up way more not because like i'm going to comment and be like heather is the prettiest person in the world heather is exuding beauty and she's using techniques she learned and she's employing a lot of the 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 wonderful teachings for herself in the way that works for her. And we can see that, like, can you see all of that? She's like, I was all up in my solar plexus energy. Yes, the yellow, my dear. Catherine, that smile warms my heart. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, the, all the things, right? And then Heather posted another different type of photo in our Facebook group, which I will not share. Don't worry, Heather. Don't, I didn't want to give you a heart attack. 
but she was talking about how um, it can be so important to commemorate ourselves and to uh, say things to yourself that reflect back the beauty you truly want to feel inside and out. <laughs> Heather, phew, yeah. I, you know me, I'm all about my consent. Okay. So, uh, all right. It's, Ha do people have questions for me? Because I really want to answer questions. And also I'm very distracted because I'm looking, I wanted to show you. I looked on my camera and there's this big vein. Pop it. Does anyone see this big vein? It's just, what is going on? <laughs> the look today is veiny. Um, you know, I teach people how to look great on Zoom because that, I mean, that's just a whole thing that's happened, right, in the in the world the last two years. I'm going to try to adjust something on my camera. So when you get a fancy webcam like mine, you can look at the drama. I can, I'm going to adjust it. I'm going to pull the saturation back a little bit. I'm going to do some oil. Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> look. So I, I also do teach about how to use Zoom and uh, clearly and needing to just take my own advice. All right. So D is saying the vein doesn't show on your phone. Oh, good. Fabulous. No, <laughs> Catherine's like, stop, Kristen, you look great. No, but I just like, I think people get this idea that somehow I have perfect skin. Um, Cause they'll say that to me. They're like, oh my God, your skin is flawless. No, it, no, it's not. And I also don't put on a hundred layers of makeup. So you're going to see it. Like, I didn't put, I put on the spa glow foundation. The tip that I gave you, that is how I do my foundation. I don't just make that up. I don't just be like, oh, you should try this. It's some weird thing. Like that whole internet became about weird things. People were inventing, like putting dots and stripes all over their face. And then I, I don't even know the crazy thing, like just to get views and likes. I mean, please don't do your makeup like that. Like it just, it doesn't have to be this freaking complicated. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, Ingrid is saying, hi, Kristen, you're wearing black. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm wearing navy. It's actually navy. I don't know if you can see it. We'll find something that's actually black next to me. I don't know. It's not black, but it might be reading as black. Um, also, I turned down the brightness on my, on my webcam just now. But hi, nice to see you. Okay. So um, yeah, I, so I got wrinkles. I got a weird vein that pops out right here. I got pores that are really big right here and some here and a weird the whole goal isn't to be flawless the goal is to feel like you're that person who has the tools to step into a room feeling confident radiant and beautiful knowing that you are taking such good care of yourself and you're pulling yourself together in a way that is like here I am yes I don't think that I'm the most beautiful person in every room, but I feel the most beautiful because I choose that. I could choose that in a grocery store. I could choose that in a fancy jazz club, which I do sometimes. I love to get dressed up. I also love to be with no makeup on, lounging around a pool with my sunscreen and my sun hat and my glasses, like, <laughs> right? It's not about looking perfect. Not in my mind. I think that's a waste of your life force and energy. Okay. Catherine, make her eyes pop. Yes. Oh, the necklace. Yes. Oh, it's a Tucson find. Gems everywhere in Tucson. Okay. So uh, D has asked, I still coordinate my eyeshadow with what I'm wearing. Is that passe? I mean, I, I'm here for it. I think that's cool. Like, Are you talking like you wear a lavender purple cardigan and then you're doing purple eye makeup. I don't see a problem with that. I really, I, you know, it's, it's about placement. It's, it's about balance. It's about, um, also what I talk about a lot, the beauty muse, like, what is it that you're trying to achieve with your beauty? Okay. I've been chit chatting for a very long time. Um, I, I passionate about the subject. That's why I do all the things that I do. And that's why I invite people into my world of the Oasis where I can just give you so much more. It's so much more of a resource than I can do in these three minute videos or these other kinds of ways. Um, it's, it, it's truly 
guidance and actually quite a bit of high touch um, for a membership. So anyways, okay, let's, let's give away our prize. Let's do it. We're going to, we're going to use the wheel of names, which when I did this in February, I had so many entries. I had over a thousand entries for the prizes I was giving away that I broke the wheel of names. <laughs> So I didn't break it this time. All right. And Sharon has a question. So we're going to get to that right after we give away our prize. So let's, let's do the wheel of names. Okay. Share. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? Do you see your name on here? I see Susan and Cindy. And now these are the people who followed the instructions on how to enter to win the marula oil pre-cleanser from Lux Botanics Beauty, which is the cleanser that I used in the skin compressing day six video. And so not only did they, there were a few things you had to do in order to have an official entry. And so these are the people who did, and some of them um, did it on Instagram, some did it on Facebook. So, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, we're gonna click to spin, ready? Control enter and uh, send good juju out to you. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Okay, there we go. Okay, from Instagram, we have <laughs> Becca Bub. <laughs> Becca B. So I'm going to screenshot this so I don't forget. Um, is, is there any chance that Becca is on our live stream? That would be pretty awesome. You didn't have to be here to win, but Becca, are you here? Oh, Becca. Okay. Well, she's not here. No. Okay. Yay. Somebody's celebrating Becca. Unless that's you, Becca. Oh, that's you, Becca. Cause you didn't give StreamYard permission to show your name. I can't tell that it's actually you. Go Becca. That was old school. I don't know where that came from. I just, I really wanted to like do a happy dance for you. Should we do a little happy dance for Becca? That was obviously unpracticed. <laughs> I could do better with more uh, practice time. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's get into some of this Q and A. Um, yes, we're all celebrating Rebecca. Good. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I know there was a question above. Mm -mm -mm. Cindy, we're going to show your question. My biggest question is under eye concealer for 60, where to put it? Just in the corner or what do you need? So <sighs> the one thing that changes when you start getting under eye wrinkles is that the more product you put under your eye, the more it's going to look heavy and cakey and creasy. So that's why if you concentrate your efforts on the inner portion of the eye, it's going to brighten a very dark area on most, pretty much everybody. When I say most, I'm talking like 99.9% .9 of the people. Um, and so when you add that lightness here, it does help illuminate the eye area. And trust me, I know that then there is darkness under the eye, but the difference is, is, and you can see it on me probably is that like when I tip my head down, my darkness goes here. Look at how much space is between that line and my eyelashes. And so people are just putting it in the wrong spot. They're not even targeting the darkness. They're just taking a bunch of product and they're putting it into this big space. They don't even need it. That's making it look crusty and gunky under their eyes. If you've got a lot of purple, I highly suggest, or, you know, kind of like a bluish purple, greenish, if you're darker skinned, that might be more of like a bluish purplish mixed with brown, mixed with a little, I mean, depending on how dark your skin is, it might even be close to a black color, you know? And, and so um, when you neutralize that color, with a color corrector that's appropriate for your skin tone and you target that darkness, it makes it so much more effective when you go to place concealer on top of that afterwards, because you're not trying to bring up 
a color that is actually different than the rest of your skin tone lighter, which is only making it a lighter version of that. Does that make sense? I hope that helped you. Okay. So let's move. How do I unshow this? Okay. Now we're down to other questions. I need more water. I'm just yapping away. I have water with lemon in it. And if I miss your question, please ask it again. So Sharon, welcome from the YouTubes, um, is asking, are there any tips or tricks to make small brown hooded eyes look larger and brighter? <gasps> yes. So Sharon, did you watch the video on the eyeliner that I showed that technique? Um, and I'm, I'm sort of like waiting for you to respond. I hope you do respond. Anyways, you can do that eyeliner with like a blue or a green or something that has a little bit more life in it than brown that's going to complement your brown colored eyes. And actually, I gave this suggestion just a little while ago to one of the Oasis members, Catherine, who I was telling you posted pictures of the different eyeliner techniques she was trying out. And she has brown eyes and was using a brown pencil, which is great. It's very soft, very natural. And I proposed to her, why not navy? Why not plum? Why not a deep green? Something like that. So that's one thing is um, try like an, try a, a color that isn't going to compete with something going on, perhaps the discoloration here. Um, make sure you're doing your color neutralization. And even you can put a little bit of concealer or something on your eye just to brighten that area so that um, if you are experiencing a lot of darkness, like it feels like it's receding in, you're adding some lightness. Now, but here's the really big trick. People are putting the lightness on their hooded eye in this band of skin that folds over. And I'm going to get a little, I'll try to get close to this camera because I grew, I mean, I was born with hooded eyes. I've lived my life with hooded eyes. So you can see that there's a band of skin that flops over, right? And then you can't see the lash line as much or as easily. So you don't want to put more white across that already light band or whatever your version of a white would be, because I don't, I can't see your skin tone, but if you're darker than me, then you don't want to put anything too light there because what it does is it pushes out that entire portion and it makes your eye look more hooded. So what people are doing is they're thinking to themselves, oh, I'm making it brighter. So I'm putting brighter colors on. But actually what you're doing is you're making the problem more. Let's let me rephrase that. You're making the thing you want to minimize. It's not a problem. The thing you want to minimize and take attention away from more obvious. And see, this is one of those things where I correct my own language and I do it real time because I've been in this business a long time and I like to practice what I preach and I have things slip into my language that frame things negatively because we are so trained to, to think negatively of ourselves that everything's a problem to be fixed. And actually it's just like when you dress yourself or you decorate a room, you know, if you put a certain wall color on that's dark, it's going to create a more sunken receding effect. It's going to give something more depth. That's exactly what we're doing with your eyes. So if you want to make them look larger and brighter, you actually need to learn how to shade the, the little flappy skin and shape it in such a way that everything is moving up and out. It's like what I call the face funnel. And I teach this really specifically um, in the Oasis on how to do eyeshadow in a basic way. But just really try to get your eyeshadow on this lid portion right here and then pull it out versus pull it down. And that's, that's actually going to give you the, the more interesting effect. And I would use it with like a medium color for your skin tone. So it doesn't get too dark and smoky, which is why I talk about how I teach things the opposite way that a lot of people teach it because we've just got to get out of our head that if we want it to look brighter, we add bright all over the eye. Actually, it's about adding depth in the right place and then letting the bright be where there's depth and we are attempting to 
bring that out more forward. Okay. So Sharon's, that was such a good question. I Did I answer your question? Do, 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 do. Sharon came back and answered yes. And I already forgot what I asked you. Oh, that you saw the eyeliner video. <laughs> oh, good. I'm so glad. Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. I'm really happy that that, that that worked for you. Cool. So let me look at the other questions. Um, advice for puffy under eyes and what to do for brown spots. Okay, so these are two separate questions, but puffy under eyes. That is something that, ooh, it's a, it's a multifaceted potential of things because this is why it's so hard when people ask me like one question that they think that, that I can't ask them other questions and really look at them because the puffiness might actually be from fluids. It might be your genetics. It might be fat deposits. Maybe you're having a thyroid condition. Like there's maybe you've got too much salt in your diet. Maybe um, you need to stimulate your lymph and drain some of the fluid out. Um, I mean, there's so many different things. And gosh, I wrote recently about puffy eyes somewhere, didn't I? Someone tell me if you remember, because maybe it was just in the Oasis, but we definitely talked about puffy eyes because there are a few different things that can happen when we talk about puffy. There's also a difference between the puffy under and over or just one place, you know, um, and, and this is why, like a lot of those tutorials and the magazines and the listicles, you know, they aim to try to problem solve for everyone. And having worked with so many of those writers in the past, like I can't even tell you how many publications I've been featured in at this point. They'll interview me for an hour and they'll put in two quotes. So you're not really getting the full story. And it's being written by somebody who is a writer probably in their early 20s and doesn't know about the genre. So they don't even know what things they're really cutting in and out that are supposed to be the best piece of his, of advice. And after that happened so many times, I just got irritated and I was like, you know what? Pretty much everybody's lying to you either by omission because all they're really trying to do is get filler content to get their advertising rates up or to push um, more products at you because ultimately it's about making money through consumerism, which that is a way of doing it. And that's not the way I do it. I uh, have a membership because I like to educate rather than buy more stuff, buy more stuff, because it's so overwhelming. And honestly, if I recommend to you uh, a product to use, like I said before, an eyebrow pencil and I or an eye cream, and you don't use it right, you just do whatever you've always done with it, well, then you're going to be mad at me because it didn't work. <laughs> but actually, you kind of need a little bit more of the handholding that I offer with more in-depth training because at a certain point, scouring YouTube for videos that are designed to make money in some way off product sales or get lots of likes so they make it, you know, not uh, like clickbait almost. And they teach you something, but who the hell are these people? A lot of them are not professionals. A lot of them don't have experience in over 40 skin in the same degree. And people will send me videos all the time. They're like, what do you think of this? And I'm like, I can't even watch that. Already I know it's bad. I already know that it's wrong. Um, anyways, I, I lost myself on the puffy eye question. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry. So um, one thing, tapping, light tapping. And lymph stimulation, get your arms up over your head, stimulate your lymph, flush the fluid out, do face massage, face massage. When you cleanse, when you put your hydrators on, face massage. That will likely help your puffy eyes. I wouldn't go straight to doing cool anything and um, you really wanna avoid anything super cold like ice and stuff like that, don't do that. Um, let's see, who else we got? We got uh, Irene is asking about brown spots. Okay, so I this is a very common question. I created a course called How to Handle Your Hyperpigmentation a while back, and I brought in a board-certified dermatologist and a master natural esthetician who's actually based here in Tucson, where I live now, named Kaylin Harwell. 
and uh, or that's the name of her product line. Her name is Kaylin Johnson. And uh, they both commented on this. And I think what a lot of people don't understand is that there's a couple questions to really look at with brown spots. They are not age spots, they're from sun exposure. We have done the most amount of damage to our skin between the ages of eight and 23. So now as your skin loses collagen, elastin, um, and, and no longer has that same um, resilience as it did when you were younger, and as you age, that's why these spots are now showing up. It's They're more apparent. And then the more sun that you get, the more it activates all those areas that are just sitting under your face waiting to come out. So that is old damage, most likely. Um, I've had, I mean, I damaged the hell out of my skin when I was younger. I grew up in Southern California. I studied for hours by the pool. From elementary school to college, I was always at a pool, the beach. I don't think I ever wore sunblock, ever. I was wearing sun tanning accelerators. I was trying to be brown. I wanted to be cooked. And I burned the hell out of myself a couple times. So all the damage I face now, the things that I do in a skin check, getting stuff burned off my body, that's all from that. So there's only so much you can do. You can't really reverse it unless you're willing to take extreme measures. And only and those can be risky, expensive, and temporary. Because once you do something that extreme to like laser the crap off of your face, um, if you do not wear your sunblock as if it is your new religion and apply it thoroughly every two to three hours, even when you're in your house, if you sit near windows, you're just asking for problems. It'll come all right back. So are there things you can do to help? Absolutely. There's ingredients that kind of help minimize the spots that sort of slow the, the process of them appearing down. You can use makeup to neutralize some of it. But I, you know, I just want to really like make it super clear that the best thing you can do is protect your skin from the sun. And that also includes stuff that you ingest, which is a lot. some of the things we talk about in the course. And if you want to, you can go the route of using like a light retinol and vitamin C and all these things, but just know that they're photoreactive. So if you start getting irritations, if you start seeing that the spots are getting more intense, you know, that's that could be what the problem is. Um, and so I have chosen not to use any of that because I like going to the pool and I still wear my, I'm like, covered in sunscreen all the time, but, uh, I call these my cheetah spots. <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm like a cougar now. <laughs> and I can understand they're frustrating. I mean, I have some pretty obvious ones on the side of my nose. They're not freckles anymore. They're blobs. Uh, so I, I just want to deliver that with a, like, Use a little bit of makeup to minimize them. Use some products to help slow it down and kind of, you know, make the skin nice and add those extra nutrients in there. And there are certain oils that will help, certain ingredients, I should say, that will help to somewhat reduce them, but you're not going to make them ever go away. So I think that that's important to know. And I'm sorry, that's like depressing. If you were hoping for, again, me to be like, Use just this one thing and it will all be perfect. Um, but you can also take vitamins and things like that that will help protect your skin. Lots of antioxidants. Protect the hell out of your skin, please. That's that's for everybody. Protect your skin. Okay, I'm going to take two more questions because obviously I go on and on when I, you can tell, right? Like <laughs> I'm passionate about this. Three minute videos are not long enough. Okay. Um, Da, 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 da. The eyeshadow is taking you lots of practice. All right, Catherine, you are an Oasis member. We have a soiree, which is our live Q&A every month for members where you get to come be in a Zoom room with me and I will help you. I will look at you and I will help guide you through. I mean, the Oasis membership is so reasonably priced. You probably your moisturizer costs more than one month in the Oasis and you will learn how to use everything better. You will learn what to do and you get to talk to me and 
that's pretty freaking awesome, I think, because everywhere else is like just, you know, very disconnected. Um, and I, I, don't you want like more guidance? Wouldn't it feel good to know that you could get specific advice that made it so you weren't just searching for the magic product. You were actually getting answers that helped pull everything together so that you could feel and be more confident. And I'm talking about confidence, not like, I'm so confident. I mean, like, you know what you're doing. You're grown ass human. So you deserve to be told the truth. You deserve to be given the techniques that you can practice and to be helped more than just somebody handing you a listicle and being like, or watching some 20 year olds YouTube video. I mean like, so should I, should I start painting a stripe down my nose? Is that what we're doing? You deserve somebody like me who knows what the hell they're talking about and cares about the over 40 community that has been ignored and, and you know, just all you need is anti-aging. No, we need living forward that you are being supported in an uplifting, positive way because this stage of your life, I don't call it an age. I call it a stage. The stage of your life is one that you get to love and live in fully right now because when you look back at it from 10 years from now, you know, God willing, you're still alive, right? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? We don't even know if we have tomorrow. What are you waiting for? What permission do you need? I will give you that permission. This is your permission right now to, to feel good and to get the help and the guidance and the support and the community, if you want the community, to cheer you on because everybody feels vulnerable. I wake up, I look in the mirror, and I'm like, I told you, right? Like, oh, that's happening. And I'm a pro. I know what's going on. I've seen so many naked faces. So I know it feels confronting, doesn't it? Like who, just, you can put a why, like a yes or a no in the comments, but have you looked at yourself in the mirror recently and been like, sometimes I feel unrecognizable. Sometimes I feel like maybe it's better that I'm invisible, but I don't want to be invisible. Do you ever feel like that? What do you feel on a day-to-day -day basis? Because I'll tell you, this is what I hear in the private rooms, the quiet conversations clients have had with me for many years. And when I talk clients, I'm talking everyday people to VIPs of multi-million, billion, actually, uh, dollar companies and supermodels. Like, there are so few, pe there's so few people who love themselves very much when they look at themselves. And I just want that for you. I care about you. Like, wouldn't it feel good to know that you had more than just like a great lipstick color? Because that lipstick color is meant to make you feel a certain way. And to get there, it's more than just me saying, oh, well, this is my favorite lipstick color. And it works on pretty much everybody. And you might put it on and be like, I hate that. I was talking to some really high level uh, business ladies the other day and um, we were talking about lipstick actually. And one said, I don't know why, but everybody always wants to suggest warm pink for me. And in, in the minute it came out of her mouth, I was like, oh, no, why God, no. And she was like, yeah, that's exactly like, I look terrible in warm pink. And I was like, yeah, you do. And I don't even know if you look, I mean, I can just see it through the virtual screen. I know makeup that well. I was like, I've never put that on you. Why? Because it's what everybody says you should have is a warm pink. And I'm like, well, the amount of makeup I have corrected from professional suggestions is stunning. And so if you feel overwhelmed and confused when you're just out on your own and now there's like the online and the stores and then you got some person that start being like, this is perfect for you. I, yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> I try not to swear. <laughs> it's really confusing. <laughs> I feel that way too. Uh, you know, I've dedicated my career to this. I go into a Sephora and I'm like, oh, it's too much. <laughs> it's not even like a candy shop anymore. I'm like, I just, I just need like one thing. And I just, mm, what's that over there? No, don't do it. So, 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yes, let's see. I'm looking at some of the comments because I know I'm just going off here. Catherine, I have hooded eyes. Um, and oh, she's offering some ideas, the lightness under the brow. Yes. Oh, the comment section is giving me life. Well, I'll have to read it later. Um, D is saying, have you heard of Gua Sha? Oh, have I heard of Gua Sha? Yes. I am going to tell you something that I haven't even told the Oasis members, but I'm always trying to think of like cool special features to bring in there. And Gua Sha is definitely going to be the next feature that we bring in. Um, and I'm kind of stalking like one of the best Gua Sha people in the US who I've met on a couple of occasions. And I I don't know, frankly, if I can afford to bring her in, you know, because I pay people when they're experts. I don't do this BS that people always did to me as an artist, which is like, it's for the exposure. Come do it for free. Unless it really is for the exposure, unless they really do want to do it for free. Um, but I don't assume that people want to give their time or their products for free. So, uh, you know, even with my beauty boxes, I have I have paid some cost of goods you know, because I feel like it's the ethical way to exist in the industry. And I really want to walk my talk. So um, yeah, Cindy's saying yes. Heather is saying yay, gua sha. Um, and Irene is saying thank you for the answer to my question. And uh, 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 da, da, da. practice, practice makes master. That's what my favorite astrologer says. There's no such thing as perfect. Dude, can I tell you, I mess up my makeup on a consistent basis. Sometimes part of it is just knowing that you can fix it. <laughs> it's true. I, you think that I went to fashion week and I was like, okay, I'm done. It's perfect. I don't think any of you know what fashion week is, if that is the impression that you have of what my experience was like. <laughs> it was, I was screamed at. I was berated. I was like, just beat to the ground over an eyebrow not looking correct. So because I've seen how nasty and ugly the beauty industry is, that is why I have created a space that I don't think exists anywhere else. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, although I don't go looking a ton, but I haven't seen a space that focuses on positive, uplifting, supportive, over 40, green beauty all in one spot for a very, very nominal monthly fee that has direct access to somebody of my caliber. And I'm not saying that to be egotistical. I'm saying, I don't think it's out there. I think this is it. And I would, that's why I'm just like looking at what's going on out there and thinking, yeah, no wonder we're all thinking there's got to be some like magic cream, magic pill, magic pencil that's going to make us feel better. And that's just not it. I could give you a whole bunch of recommendations. And then at the end, you're going to be holding a pile of stuff going, well, I don't feel any better off with it. Because either you don't know how to use it, or you just bought something and it didn't inspire you, it didn't work for you, because it wasn't right for you, or it wasn't right for your beauty muse, which I talk about a lot, which is like, which is that that essence, that quality that you want to exude. Because I can do my makeup. Actually, I was thinking about doing this. Who would want me to do this? <laughs> I'm going to do it anyways. I don't even need permission. But I decided I'm going to do a, a, a like a full, what we call a beat face. Like, because you just are doing so much makeup that you end up like beating the face. And like contouring and lashes in that way that is so like common right now in the beauty influencer. Just for fun. I, because I want you to see that it's an, it's a flex. Putting on a lot of makeup is actually less hard than putting on a little bit of makeup and using a few things strategically. It's, it's less hard to just like paint roll your face and cover up the fact that you didn't take care of your skin. And all these young people are having so many skin problems because they're using all this crap on their face, really bad ingredients. So then they pile more onto their face. And I don't know about you, let's hear, don't, don't you want to feel like light and radiant and like you don't need to put on a bunch of stuff, but when you do, it's like pow, 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 because that's what I teach. Um, let's see. 
uh, questions. Da, da, da. Yes, Susan's excited about gua sha. I don't know when it's happening. I'm still I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, Jessica, are we doing another box anytime soon? No. <laughs> Those are so much work. It's so much work. And um, I, yeah, it's like a long, it's a long story. I end up having to have collaborators and the, especially now with shortages and all this kind of stuff. So I feel like I'd rather focus my energy on teaching you what to do rather than coming up with a Christmas box of things that, or a holiday box of things. That's what I'm calling it. Like that moment where you're like, ah, it's so much stuff. But um, my picks were always really, really solid. I would just rather not pile on more. I think as I talked about in video seven, like a lot of us are have our drawer of disappointments. A lot of us are um, swimming in things we don't need. Swimming in things that somebody told us were right for us. And then they just really weren't. And so now there's like, somebody said this to me as I was explaining it. I don't remember who it was. And she's like, so now you feel sad and you feel like you have to use up this product that you bought. There's going to be a huge waste of money. And so every time you use it, you're just, you're just smearing on the sad. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. But isn't that kind of true? Oh my gosh. Oh, so thank you, Jessica, for understanding. Yeah. I just, I like to be really intentional. I would rather you use what you have. And if something's not working, we, we want to talk together about like, what is the effect that you're trying to get? What is your skin actually doing? People type their skin all the time wrong. People tell me all the time, oh, I need this. And I look at their face, especially when I was doing makeup more often. And I would touch her skin. And I'm like, you don't have a freaking clue, do you? Like your skin is dehydrated. You need to exfoliate. Like we got to do a whole skin prep before I can put any makeup on you because you're still treating your skin like it's acne prone or oily combination and you haven't been that in a long time and now it's just pissed. <laughs> or maybe you have rosacea and you're doing things that are shown for other skin types that would work for those skin types, but on you, it's aggravating the problem. Like, oh, so we need to like dig in a little bit more. Okay, Cindy, so no highlighting on the top of the eye for hooded eyes, right? Um, okay, so you can do it. Do you see how there's more of a whitish band naturally here? Do you see this whitish area here on me? That is that there's no makeup there. That's just my flesh. That's my highlight. So I took one liquid eyeshadow tonight in gold from Kosas because I was in a hurry. And I was like, re, re, re. smudge, 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 done. So then I'm not trying to spend two hours doing my makeup so I can show up on here and be like, you don't need to be flawless or perfect. But also I look like an alien AI robot. <laughs> just like sometimes you just need to know exactly where to put one color and boom, stick your mascara on, curl your lashes, then stick your mascara on. Let's go. We got stuff to do, people. And then take your makeup off very carefully like I showed you in day six video. <laughs> It'll feel so good. All right. So here we are at the top of the hour. Um, oh, Cindy's saying a thank you. Oh, thank you. I always look good. You always look good. Actually, I never see you, but <laughs> except your profile photo. But, um, Sharon saying, thank you for your positivity, encouragement, your tips and tricks, expertise makes such a difference. Please keep doing what you're doing. We need you. Oh, Sharon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I want to, um, I'm going to put in the comments. I want to invite you. If you liked this, if you want more, if you feel like you would like to get real answers for once, rather than wasting your time on crap that doesn't work for you, that you don't know how to use, or that somebody sold you and you don't need. Wouldn't it feel better to just have this kind of help more specific to you? We have a soiree on the 25th where you can actually come on camera, show me your stuff. I will give you specific advice. You can show up in the Facebook group that we have. People post their pictures and I'm like, or sometimes I answer with a video, right? Like I am very high touch in this thing. I would love for you to join the Oasis. 
Um, I'm going to put a link here. I'm sort of changing the layout of the top of the sales page. So it's a little ugly right now. Forgive me again, not flawless, not perfect, but I put a lot of energy into the content that's created and have, it's a beautiful, beautiful membership. I'm going to, Oh, I wanted to share with you. Oh, I had so many things I wanted to share. Um, I just want to read to you. Uh, no, I'll share. Okay. Oh gosh, we have to, Heather's still on my screen. She's so pretty. Look, pretty, see? But she's so much more than that. I, the pretty for me is like, it's about the beauty. And Heather shows up at these um, oasis and I, I get this experience of her that's so lovely. Okay. We had one of our members and I didn't ask her permission uh, to share this comment. So I chopped off her name and her head. <laughs> but this whole comment is about not going too light in her foundation, which is something that I like try to drill into people. And in the Healthy Beauty Oasis, we have a whole course called Foundations of Foundation. And I teach you how to pick it. And I'm like, you're not probably as light as you think you are. This is a mistake I fix all the time when people go get professionally matched in stores. It's wrong. The foundation is terrible color for them. And, um, and she was like, I thought I was the lightest shade because she's Irish. And then she revisited and she ordered some samples from Sappho, which is this brand. I really love their foundation. And also you, you need some guidance on how to work with it, in my opinion, but um, for the over 40 and to get like a certain type of effect, but I show it in the spa glow video. Anyways, I digress. But what she was saying was like, oh my God, not only wasn't she the lightest shade, Rosalina is like number six on the shade level. And she was surprised that someone near her for all this time didn't mention that she looked like a corpse. <laughs> mm. Like, People aren't going to tell you that you look corpse-like. They're not. Most people don't know that you didn't intend to do it, that you want to be told negative information. They're not makeup artists. so they're And we, we don't often feel like, can you imagine going up to somebody and being like, I'm sorry, but your foundation looks very light for you and you kind of look like a corpse. So no, you're not going to hear that feedback from your friends and your family. And then she followed my advice. She was six shades, five shades lighter and darker than what she thought. And now she's like so happy and people see that life in her. And can you imagine like your partner or your friends or something be like, what happened to you? It's not because you don't have wrinkles anymore. It's because what you're using looks so much better. It looks so much more natural. It looks so much more appropriate for you. Just because you've been told your whole life you had oily skin or you're Irish, so you must be the lightest or whatever. I, it doesn't make it true now. You need different things for now. Um, <laughs> Nancy just wrote, and all about the kitties. Like There was no other part of that comment, but I know exactly. Nancy likes to zoom in on her soiree day uh, with her cats and we love it. Last time she was in her catio and there were just cats. And, uh, if you join the live monthly soirees, you will be encouraged to bring any animal that you would like on screen and show them because we're here for it. You got a bearded gra dragon. Great. Let's see it. <laughs> um, Heather's saying there are also powders that ghost you out on camera so you look fine in real life and then see the photos and all you look so ghostly. Oh, yeah, that's an HD. All these mm, all these people being like, oh, just get your HD and then you put it on. Uh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. And then there's a whole thing about powder foundation and I could I could go off. You know that, right? So uh, I wanted to quickly show you. What am I showing you? I'm showing you a Chrome tab, so I have to say it out loud. I'm gonna show you inside the Oasis really quick. Um, so this is the homepage, and always here I have the newest goodness. So it's three of the most recent posts that rotate out, of course. And then we have a little welcome video, it's very sassy. Um, this is our announcement of the next coming soiree and our Facebook group that's fabulous and member benefits coming and a picture of me with, stuff. 
Uh, and then we have these different areas, release, reclaim, reframe, and beauty parlor. And these three, release, reclaim, reframe, are the pillars of how I talk about healthy beauty. So it's like the inner and the outer of detoxing the crap you're thinking about and the crap that's in your cabinets. And within each of these posts are useful tips and resources and uh, videos and a toolkit and next steps and things that were not included that I wanted to include later and another video, I mean, and comments and all kinds of wonderful things. And then we've had some sections that became so robust, I had to make separate um, sub menus because just under face alone, sun protection and sunspot per prevention. So I've got a clip from the course that I was telling you about before here. There's full transcripts and closed captioning for accessibility. Um, there's other instructional videos and it's just filled with so much goodness. And then in the beauty parlor, we have product guides. So this is a highly curated list of things I love and a thumbs down list, which I started because there are just certain products and brands. I'm like, never, ever, ever should you use that. And so here you have a little peek at one of the items that's in there. Um, I've talked about this concealer a lot, but you also have to know how to work with it. But that's really important. Some people get it and they're like, Ew, I don't like it because it was too thick and too dry. And I'm like, well, how'd you use it? And then they tell me, I'm like, well, cause you used it totally wrong <laughs> because it's an amazing concealer and very few things make it into this list. And we have a few brand savings, um, our archives of our soirees, some bonus videos. So what I did was I put the whole seven day refresh event here where you could download the companion guide, um, and watch all the videos in one place, plus bonus content I included. And this is the bonus hair video. And oh, I haven't put day seven in there yet. See, sometimes we miss things, but it gets up in there, you know, it's, and just how to take a better selfie, like little things like this that can make such a big difference. So it's fabulous. You can heart things. Um, there's a little help icon, so you can always get help and I prioritize member requests. Yeah, it's, I'm really proud of this. It's, uh, it's, it's an amazing body of work and you can go at it at your own pace. It's beginner friendly. And if you're advanced, you're going to learn something too, because there's so many different sections to dive in. So many beautiful guest experts we've had, um, uh, May Lindstrom. Um, yeah, it's just, it's wonderful. And yeah, so here we are. Um, I, if you have any questions about whether or not the Oasis membership is right for you, pop them in the chat. I will answer them. I'm going to take a little break, have some dinner. <laughs> um, but I'll, I'm here. I'm a real human being. I'm not a robot. Uh, and as you know from the Oasis members who are here, like, and just what we're doing right now, uh, I, I just, I want women and people over 40 to feel the beauty inside and outside that they truly deserve. And I really, really know what it's like to feel very insecure. I grew up with terrible acne, hating the way I looked, going to plastic surgeons to see how much it would cost to fix the things I hated about myself. And so this isn't one of those all this, I woke up and I just always thought I was so beautiful and I'm so, I'm on some pedestal up here. No, but I've been in this industry for 25 years and I have talked to and worked with and on so many people and beauty is vulnerable. And all I know is that when I, when I watch somebody get it, and it used to be in person and now it's virtual. I've been doing virtual consultations since 2016, 2017, well before 2020. And I had my first course come out in 2017. I can do my work as effectively, if not even more so for people virtually, because you are required to take what you have in your hand and do it. 
I can't step in and be like, let me just fix that really quick. And then you don't even know what I did. And you're like, oh, that's fabulous. How did she do that? I don't know. It's a whole different thing. You're empowered for years to come for years. I mean, this is, this is big stuff in as far as I'm concerned. And yet somehow we've gotten this idea that we're just supposed to know how to do it. We're just supposed to know how to do beauty because why? I don't, I don't know, man. I've had to learn from some of the best artists in the world. You, you sit and you watch them and you try and you to get to the level that I got to, which was really, really, really high. So you don't need that. You need somebody who knows all of that, that can break out the littlest pieces for you and go, this one's going to be the best for you. This thing, this product, this color, this, because it's not just about the tools and it is, but it is also about something so much deeper than I mean, who cares if you have perfect makeup, if you feel like you hate yourself and you're walking around ugly, like ugly heart. There's gorgeous women out there that are mean. This is not a mean space. We don't, we don't want to tolerate meanness for ourselves anymore. You're so beautiful. You're so wonderful. And I just really, really, really want to help you because I know what's possible. And I know how frustrated people can be. I mean, like, are you frustrated? So I don't know. I don't know what, you, what, out of curiosity, those of you who are still here, um, what do you want out of your beauty? What's, what's the goal? What do you want to feel? Like if I could just wave, wave a magic wand, what's your goal? Do you want to feel like you have a team of stylists in your house every day and you're just like, wow, I'm fabulous. Or do you have a specific concern that you really want to resolve once and for all? I would love to know what that is. I really do. I mean that. Like if you are willing to write it in the comments, I have a feeling you're not the only one thinking it. That's that's actually a knowing because I've worked with so many people. I know that we're a lot of us are thinking the same things. Um, yeah. So, I mean, think about the last time you brought a beauty product you know, you were told it was going to do something. And then if it didn't, were you disappointed in yourself? Were you disappointed in the product? Both? Because maybe it wasn't the right product for you, or maybe it, it, it just wasn't going to work for you no matter what for the results you were looking for. And so there's better, more effective things that you could be doing. And it doesn't have to be like buy more stuff. It could be focus on the things that are right for you. You deserve that. <sighs> and you never know. People tell me all the time, oh, I can't wear that. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't. I'm like, oh, imagine. Imagine how much more fun you would have if you felt like you could. That was the biggest drink of water. <laughs> um. Jessica says, I want to improve my skincare. So what does improvement mean? Can you be more specific? And Susan says, I want to remain relevant as I age, not perfect. Just do the things that enhance me. Yes. Yes. And, and what is relevant? Like, can you describe that even more? What relevant means? When do you know you've achieved relevant? Is it something that you feel? Is it something someone says to you? Is it a, is it a, what is it? And Sharon's saying pretty makeup, not overdone, not painted and healthy glowing skin. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I am here for that. I'm here for not overdone and healthy glowing skin. Definitely. That is what I teach because if you're looking, you're not here because you're somebody who's looking for the trendiest contouring techniques and to make your whole face look totally different. <laughs> I, I'm just not that artist and people who want that are not attracted to me because I, man, I, I go into public places and I'm just like gaze at people 
we're all so beautiful and interesting and so many people just hate themselves. That if you could look at yourself from the outside with the eyes of kindness and love, which is a lot of things that I talk about in the Oasis in our weekly newsletters in particular, I'll touch on that theme of like what happens when you treat yourself with more love, like just so much love. Does something bad happen? Do you explode? No. Somebody some at some point told you not to like be vain and not to love yourself too much. Excuse me? That's some BS. Okay. Jessica is saying, I want to learn how to improve layer or glowing skin without lots of product. Yes, Jessica. Did you try the cleansing compressing that I showed in day six? And she's saying, but I do love color. And I have seen the value of prepping skin before any makeup. Yep. We talk about the prepping of the skin. Very important. And Susan is saying, I want to look current, but not like a youngster. I want to evolve over time so I don't look dated. Yes. It's not about following every trend, but it's not getting yourself stuck in an era. I talked about this in a Facebook live I did in the Healthy Beauty Over 40 Facebook group, which some of you are commenting in right now. Some of you are on YouTube. But that video was about um, terrible makeup trends to avoid when you're over 40. I might have put that on YouTube. Did I? I don't know. It's in the Oasis, though. Um, and, and the whole idea being that, yes, you do want to like update or you're going to date yourself to an era, and that will actually make you be perceived as being older. Because if you're always wearing your hair and your makeup and, and styling yourself like you're in the 80s, even though the 80s are back for the young people, 80s and 90s, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I lived through them and I don't think they're that fabulous. Bring me the 40s. <laughs> what era would you want brought back from this part of the century? I want to know. <laughs> um, oh gosh, have you seen the YouTube video that uh, we did with my friend Katherine Johnson called authentic cultivating authentic style over 40 and our Oasis member Beth. Oh, it's so good. And if you're in the Oasis membership, I broke it actually out into five lessons in a different way and um, made it into a mini course. And there's some other stuff that's coming around that. But on YouTube, you get like the more uncut version that's uh, long, but it's it's all the same information. It's just cut a little bit differently and it's really good. And I would love for you to follow along and then tell me what your style recipe was. It's so, it's good. Uh, and Jessica has said, I have not tried it yet. Okay. Try it tonight and report back. I need to know, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I invite you. You don't have to, but I invite you. <laughs> I'm cheering you on in a loving way. Uh, Frida is saying she wants to look relevant and current, not invisible, right? Right? And how do we know when we're invisible? You know, some of it is like, we're just not getting the same response. People aren't turning and going, wow, you look great today. And let me tell you, I have those moments too, but I know how to turn it all on. I know how to do the hair and put on the makeup and put on the outfit and turn it on and walk into a damn room and be like, I'm here. You don't even have to tell me I look fabulous because I already feel fabulous. <laughs> it's not about ego. It's actually just because I didn't need anybody's approval. I feel really freaking good. And that's what I want for you. I want you to have the tools that when you want to flex, you can flex. When you want to do that extra for, you know, I, I don't go on date night. I got, I, I'm single. So I go on like, solo jazz night to gay clubs <laughs> and I dress up because let me tell you the gay community appreciates an outfit <laughs> uh, Frida saying I want to be you when I grow up <laughs> let's let's make you that version of you right now because you're grown up and you deserve it and have people say that about you like I want to be Frida when I grow up that would, right? Oh, that just made my cheeks hurt. Who else is feeling that? Oh, let's do a cheek massage. All right, we've been on a really long time. I'm verbose. I'm always excited about this. Well, my dears, I would love to have you in the membership. 
those of you who are not in there, come join us. Other members, you can tell them. You have been telling them. It's amazing. Um, there are more videos with Beth coming out. <laughs> they have been very long edits. And so with all the other content that's created and all the other things and the bells and the whistles and the, the I is to dot and the T's to cross, they're coming at the they're coming at a slow but steady pace, my friends. Yeah. Um, the videos with Beth, what are you asking for? Uh, Susan, how can we find it? I'm going to put the um, link to the membership again in the comments. Uh, I guess they did it in YouTube. It's not letting me put it in Facebook for some reason. I don't know what's happening. So anyhow, I'll put it in as soon as we're done with the broadcast. But if you use the link in my bio on Instagram, if you go to pretty much any of my social media accounts, you're going to be able to find a page to the Healthy Beauty Oasis. Oh, just go to kristenarnett.com. That's it. And there's a green button. And it says, join the club for women over 40. You click it. And then you click the thing that says become a member. And you pick your membership also. I'm going to mention one more thing. There's a few of you still on here. But uh, I waited till the end because I kind of forgot. <laughs> um, I'm working on something that's like, next level uh, that's way more exclusive personal access to me. And it includes how to really put everything together. Like you have a stylist team working for you, but when you want to dress and look beautiful for an occasion, for a video you might have to do for work or something you're filming, or you just want to take a fabulous photo or you, I don't know, without having to hire a photographer or a stylist and the makeup artist and the hairstylist, which you will probably want to change what they did anyways, because half of them don't listen. <sighs> then what you need is all the things that I teach, which is like how to put it all together with style, elegance, sophistication, and that little extra edge. That's like pow. It's all the industry stuff that I learned over many years of watching what really happens on set to make people look the way that they do when you see them in those amazingly glamorous images. It does take a team, but there are things you can learn that you can do just for yourself that will make the difference between looks nice to, oh, damn, that looks great. I, and so that is something I'm cooking up. If you're interested, ping me in the comments. I'll be talking about it a little bit more uh, in the future, but, um, I just wanted to offer that because I feel like some of, some of you are going to want to go next level and some of you really are ready to have more of that oomph and that hand holding. And those of you who are like, I'm just going to dip a toe in, I'm going to see what's inside this incredible oasis, this delightful water that is the perfect temperature. And I can just nibble on something here and nibble on something there and take a drink here. The membership is, is perfect place for you. It's wonderful. So I hope you'll join. Okay. Uh, Heather was asking about my Pinterest page. Oh yeah. Share Pinterest pages. I love Pinterest pages. Uh, I have one. And so comments are happening about style and Pinterest and yes, do all the things. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We've been on here 90 minutes. Those of you hanging on still from the very beginning, those of you who came in the middle, those of you who came in the end, thank you for spending some of your evening with me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you got a lot out of this. We did cover quite a bit of ground um, and tips. Do you feel like you had some questions answered? Do you feel excited? Do you feel like you got refreshed in this past week in a way where you can take something for yourself and really honor the beauty inside and out that is you. Don't forget about your beauty affirmations from day one, that prompt in the companion guide. It's so every day, every day, there is a sticky in front of my computer. I look at it and I remind myself, I have a button. I don't know where I found this button. It says, I'm loved. The, if you are not reminding yourself that you are worthy of love and that you are beautiful, 
no one else is going to do it for you. Or if they do, it's just going to bounce. You're not going to hear it. You're not going to feel it. Cultivate beauty for yourself. Cultivate the qualities. Know what it is. Because no eyeliner, no lipstick is going to make it happen for you. It's only going to accentuate and enhance what's already there. And when you use it in a really kind of way, it's captivating. When you have the inner and the outer game, that bridge, strong on both sides, honey, it's not even just about being relevant anymore. You are practically invincible. That's what I think. All right. Signing off for the night. Heather thinks good night from upstate New York. All right. Love to all of you. Bye.